Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the first review for Gore's Month of Horror. Ooh, scary. And <laughs> this, of course, is one of my favorite months to do because I love talking about and I love watching horror movies, good or bad. I always enjoy watching them because when they're bad, they're hilarious to watch because it's so bad. And if they're good, they creep me the hell out and they're just so much fun to watch. So I decided to just make a whole month where I just talk about horror stuff because, of course, October is when Halloween starts and, ooh, Halloween's scary. So let's talk about our first movie. Now, before I actually start, I want to say this. Throughout the month, I will be reviewing a lot of movies and a couple of games. So don't expect the quality to be, like of highest standards, okay, because I have a lot of stuff to do this month, alright, so don't expect everything to be amazing quality reviews, okay, expect them to be a little shorter, a little bit less in depth, okay, just expect that, alright, so without further ado, let's talk about our first one, which is Playback. What a great way to start off the month of October with a straight to DVD horror movie that stars Christian Slater. Yeah, and you know what's even the worst part? This movie would like you to believe that it stars Christian Slater, but when you see it, you realize that Christian Slater is barely in the movie, even though he's in the description on IMDb. A cop looks into a mysterious depths of a blah blah blah. No, no he doesn't. <laughs> His character is completely not even relevant in this movie, almost. Like, he, his character's throw away. But before I get really into it, let me explain the plot real quick, okay? <sighs> Alright, the plot here follows a bunch of stupid white teenagers. There's no black ones because, of course, they're the smart ones and they don't do this stupid shit. But a bunch of white teenagers are doing a class project where they have to... I don't know why, but they have to reenact a murder. Not reenact it, but just show off the scene of a murder where, like, this girl's, like, slit throat bent over a, a toilet and one's just dead on a, like a, uh, a, on the freaking front porch or something like that, whatever. They're reenacting it because they're dumb white kids. And of course, they do that and later on, uh, one other dumb white kid uh, has to find a video of said murder so he can give it to one of the other dudes that's doing all the reenactments so they can, you know, they can make it perfect. So this dumb white kid is looking for that video, he finds it, and this videotape is Ooh, cursed. And when he plays the video, he gets possessed by some kind of demon or something, and he goes crazy and starts killing a bunch of people, and that's really the story. It's stupid as all hell, and oh my god, oh god, is it bad. So many quote-unquote twists and turns in this movie that it's just, it's ridiculous, it really is. The whole gimmick behind this movie is that <laughs> the, ki the kid that finds the videotape and gets haunted by it can possess other people by putting a camera in front of them, letting them look straight at the camera, and then him hitting the TV screen that he's watching the camera through. It's, it's very hard to explain, but he hits it with his hand, he goes, boo, and then he possesses the character. And that's, that's the whole gimmick behind it. He possesses people from a camera. <laughs> it's like paranormal activity if the camera was the ghost, not not the thing killing everybody. It's just, it's stupid. It really is. It's a, it's a dumb premise, and there's so many dumb twists and turns, and there's so many just parts where it's like, oh, isn't that scary? Oh, jump scare here. And it's it's so obvious and so tele uh, telegraphed. Telegraphed. It's just not scary at all. It really isn't. Let me get to the acting, which, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. First of all, I do want to say this. For a straight to DVD horror film, it's not even close to as bad as it could be. Now, that doesn't mean it's not bad, because it definitely is. <laughs> and when you have to put Christian Slater on the front of your box, even though he's in it for about 10 minutes, then you know you're in trouble, because most of the teen actors are just bad. Most of them, except maybe the lead character here. He's actually decent at times. There's a whole part where he finds, like, finds out some twist about his life and he actually has to emote a little bit and he actually does a good job he's about to, like throw up about to cry he's calling someone he's like he can't even speak because he's actually getting really choked up about what he just found out it actually works he does a decent job but for the most part the rest of the actors do a terrible job they really do especially <laughs> I'm sorry I like Christian Slater I really do uh, I'm not gonna say he's bad in this I'm just gonna say his character is so horrible in this movie I'm just gonna spoil what his character is he's not the cop that's investigating stuff he is a cop don't get me wrong but his cop character is a pervert who likes to jerk off to <laughs> to teenage girls okay all right <laughs> they're 18 19 it's not that weird I guess but 
that's his whole character. That's it. And he's getting... He's, he, oh, God. His whole character is, like, getting bribed by the one, the, the teenager that's, like, all sick and stuff. And that's his, his whole character arc, that he's getting bribed by the one that's actually going around killing everybody. And I ain't gonna spoil what happens with that, but, uh, it's kind of obvious. But it's... It's so stupid. It really is. His character's horrible. The movie's not scary at all. For the most part, the acting is just bad all around. And it's just not a good premise, really, at all. And the twists and turns are terrible. The script is horrible. The direction is not good at all. It's a straight-to-DVD film. So I don't know what I was expecting, but maybe I was expecting a little bit more. I'll admit, the gore isn't that bad. But for the most part, everything else is terrible. So I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of a 40. There you go. There's Gore's Month of Horror number 1 for Playback, a movie that sucks. There you go. Look forward to another one coming up probably Wednesday. Thank you, and goodbye. Boom. Scary. Boogity boogity.